Hey everybody, I'm super excited to share with you the LLMS.Text Generator app. It is by far the best app available for creating LLMS for any website online. First of all, what is LLMS.Text? It is simply put a standard file format that you convert all of the content of all of the pages you have on your website to a format that AI models can understand for Claude, ChatGPT, Gemini, Perplexity, Grok, and any other AI that's out there. The reason you have to do this is AIs need to be efficient and need to be fed the exact content without all of the fluff or the things that normal websites have. We do not need visuals, animations, pop-ups, header links, footer links, sidebars, sliders. So what the app does is it crawls every single page on your website and converts it to a format that is friendly for AIs so they can understand you better, mention you better, and you can gain benefits from AI and connect more with your website content. For example, at oneskills.com, we have an LLMS.txt file, which I wanted to show you how it looks. It is simply put, just normal text summarizing every single page on my website with a simple summary and a link to the entire content of the page. For example, if I scroll down all the way right here, you'll be able to see an article that we created, the summary, the title, and the description is right here. And you can see more information in the content of the page right here. For example, it is also text, and this is the entire content of the page. It does not include header links, footer links, pop-ups, banners, advertisements. It is just the content of the page. This app is very good and very easy to create this content. Okay, so how do you use this app? Let's walk you through it very easily. All you have to do is go to appify.com slash onescales, the LLMS text generator, or just go to the Appify store and type in LLMS.text generator and try it out for free. You click it on for free and you can go here to the app. All you have to do is go to the input tab, specify your domain name. For example, ours is onescales.com. Specify your website or business name, a short description, which both of these informations will be at the top of your file right here. Fill up the website business category, for example, SaaS, e-commerce service, media, blog, or other. This will help optimize how pages are organized in the text file. And just click on save and start. Depending on the size of your website, if you have a few hundred pages, a few thousand pages or more, it may take between a few minutes to a few hours or even more, depending on how large your website is. What the app is doing right now is it is finding your sitemap with a list of all of the pages of your websites, visiting them one by one, taking only the content, converting it to Markdown, which is a text-friendly content for AIs, creating the Markdown files, and then creating the LLMS.txt file plus an LLMS-full.txt file. What is the difference between an LLMS.txt file and an LLMS full file. I'll show you exactly right now. The LLMS.txt file is a list of all of your pages with a simple summary of each page and a link to understand and find out more about each page. For example, this About Us page, I can see more information about the content in this link right here. The LLMS full file is a file that includes all of the content pages all in one huge file. For example, you see I have a huge scroll right here. Depending on the size of your website, this might be very, very large, but some AIs like the LLMS full. Instead of having to visit page by page by page, they can just read everything in one time. The LLMS.txt is the most popular one, but the full is very important and a link to every single page in the markdown.md file format is going to be specified and created by this app. Once it finishes running, you'll see a succeeded message and you can scroll all the way to the bottom to see the results. Every single row right here in the table will be a link to the file that it created, one file for each page on your website, and then three other files, an llms.txt file, an llms-full file, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there will be a zip file with a link on the right to download all of the files in one time. What I like to do is click on the link right here and just download the file to my computer. I will unzip the file by double clicking on it and every single file will be here. The LLMS, the full 
and each MD or markdown file for each page that exists. In addition, you can go all the way to the top and click on export and click on CSV. You can view it in Excel or Google Sheets. All you need to do now is just upload it to your website. For example, I use Shopify. I will go to content files, click on upload and just upload all of my files there. If you cannot upload your files to the root directory, the root directory is right after the .com. What you will have to do is create a redirect. So LLMS.txt needs to be in the domain name slash LLMS.txt. If you cannot upload it just like I can't for Shopify, you will create a redirect from LLMS.txt to the URL of where you upload it. For example, CDN shop files in our specific case. Let me show you a few more advanced settings. If you go back to the run itself, you will go to the input. You will specify the domain name of your website. Once you click on start, it'll look for the sitemap, which is a list of all of the pages on your website and crawl them one by one by one and create the relevant content and files for you. If you have a unique sitemap, you will specify the entire sitemap right here. For example, new sitemap.xml or you can specify a list of the pages that you desire. For example, I want you to visit page one and page two and page three, et cetera, et cetera. The next thing you can do is click on advanced settings. If you want to fine tune the crawl, you can specify and limit the maximum number of pages to process. If you have a website with 50,000 pages and you only want to crawl the first 10,000, you will specify the number 10,000 right here. If your server is not strong enough or you want to slow down or you have too many failures of the crawl, you can pause between pages to go a little bit slower. The last part of the advanced settings is if you only want an LLMS.txt file and you do not want the markdown files, you will specify here original URLs in the format and you will delete the path for markdown files. If you do want markdown files, and you cannot upload to the root directory, you will specify the path, for example, as I did right here for our Shopify site with the slash of where you will place the MD files. Once you finish, click on save and you can run and start. Lastly, if your run did fail, if any of the URLs did not succeed to get the content, you will see that in your export or in your sheet. All you have to do is go to the top, find the run ID of when you last ran the app, Copy it, go back to the app, go to the input, scroll down to retry and place the run ID right here, plus all of the URLs that failed, which will be in the D column. You're going to copy that, go back to the URLs, paste them of all the ones that failed and click on start and it'll run correctly only the ones that failed and combine the successful and the failed. If you have any questions or suggestions, let us know. We're always available for you. We will be improving the app day by day. Much love. Try it out.